This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, PEMF, Pulse Electromagnetic Field Therapy, which is also known as Magnetic Pulse Therapy, uses electromagnetic fields that are applied to the body in pulsing patterns or to promote healing and overall wellness in the body. These fields are typically low frequency and mimic the natural electromagnetic fields produced by the body. PMF therapy is used in various medical and wellness applications. It is commonly, commonly employed for a pain management, wound healing and bone related disorders. In addition, this type of therapy improves sleep, mental focus and the body's overall performance by helping the energy output and regeneration of the body's cells. In several of my view, previous videos I describe, describe different ways to make such devices yourself because commercial one, ones are too expensive. After the request of several of my viewers and readers, I decided to develop and make this project which is actually a miniature portable magnetic pulser that is powered by a battery and you can take it with you everywhere. And again, uh, not to mention brands, such devices are sold, sold at a price of 100 to 300 dollars and more. Even this device is also more advanced than the commercial ones and it is controlled through a smartphone application. We can set many different frequencies depending on the type of therapy we want to apply. Basically this is a, this is a miniature PMF device and produces a magnetic field of approximately 1 Gauss. I should also mention that according to NASA research, fields of 0.5 to 4 Gauss are sufficient for effective uh, therapy. I tried to make this device simple as possible so that even those with less, ex less experience in this field can make it. That's why I used ready-made module which in addition to excellent functionality also have an incredible low price. The entire device contains only a few components. A small DF robot, Bluetooth amplifier module, model, model XY WRBT, next lithium or beta lithium polymer battery, also you can use a miniature, miniature power bank connected uh, directly to the micro USB port of the module. Next a small, small coil that radiates the electromagnetic fields and mini miniature switch to activate the device. First, let me describe the components in more detail. This small Bluetooth amplifier module is actually the main part that wirelessly receives signals from the smartphone software, amplifies that signal and sends it to the coil that radiates this, that signal in the form of an electromagnetic field. The module is powered by one lithium or lithium polymer battery and can be charged with external charger which is a great option and allows, and allows us unlimited and expensive use of the device. I mention this because commercial devices use a standard usually 2032 type of lithium battery which when used up needs to be replaced with new one. And the coil that radiates the electromagnetic field. It can have a shape that depends on the box or the shape in which the device is created, but most often it is, it is round of or rectangular. Uh, it's made with thin lacquered copper wire with a diameter of 0.1 mm or thinner and should contain at least 100 turns or more, which is not critical. I specifically used wire from an old relay and the 
coil consists of 150 turns. When making this coil we should pay attention to some recommendations such as isomic resistance not must be less than 15 ohms uh, and that it should contain 100 or more windings. If we use a thicker wire you need a wound more windings, the resistance will be lower, the field, the field will, be, will be stronger but the battery consumption will be higher and vice versa. That's why we need to find some compromise between compromise between field strength and consumption. So I recommend you to use the coil I made. First we need to install some free signal generator application on the smartphone and I specifically use frequency sound generator from Lux Deluxe company. A few words about smartphone application. The freq uh, all the options are available on the star screen. The frequency is marked in the middle which we can set using the slider or enter it manually. From 1 Hz to 22 kHz. Then we choose the shape of the signal, which is usually square or soft or soft tooth. And finally the intensity, which usually set to maximum. We can remember the frequency seat uh, set in this way with a certain name and call it later depending on needs, on the needs. For example, 47.77 Hertz. You can choose some name and save. As you can see, I previously set several frequencies for different diseases. You can also use some other free applications such as signal generator from XYZ applications. This is also very simple good application. Finally, let's see how the device works in real conditions. Uh, with a long press on the button, the module is activated and the blue LED starts flashing. Now we need to pair the, pair the smartphone with this Bluetooth module while the, dial, while the diode lights up constantly. So this is XFYBT, this Bluetooth device, connecting, and this device is paired, connected. Uh, 
that completes the setup. Now we, we need to activate the application and select the desired frequency for a specific therapy. We press play and the therapy begins. Next, this compact device can be placed in the in a pocket or around the, the neck with a suitable strap. For protection, I practice putting it in this little anti-static bag. However, I leave it to your imagination to come up with some way to make a miniature light and strong case. So the device now should work and we need to find some simple way to test it. I did it in the simplest way without the use of expensive measuring instruments. Uh, we need a small coil with multiple turns and I'm specifically using uh, a relay coil that has the iron core removed. Uh, the outputs of the coil uh, are connected to a 3.5 mm female audio jack and then we are suitable coaxial cable to the microphone, microphone input of the PC. If the pulser is functioning normally, then the generated magnetic field induces voltage pulses in this coil, which are heard on the PC speaker. Small LED because it is a free program. Now we can choose other frequency, for example Schumann resonance. In this simple way, we can test other devices of this type. We can also set the power of the electromagnetic field wirelessly. And finally, a short conclusion. Uh, this is a miniature, cheap and relatively easy to make portable PEMF therapy device that you can make yourself for just a few dollars. You don't even have to use specific items used in this video, but let this uh, idea guide you on how to choose your own Bluetooth amplifier module, battery, battery and coil. Uh, there are even similar module modules where the battery is charged automatically through the micro USB port which is a much simpler and more practical option. If you are considering uh, using this device for health, health related purposes it is cru crucial to consult a qualified healthcare professional to ensure safety and, efficacy, and efficiency. This video only explains the technical aspect of this device how, how to build it.